Hey, what's up everybody? This is Hat Melee here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a T-World server. The first thing you're going to want to do is allow port forwarding to port 8303. In order to do this, just simply go into the command prompt, get that default gateway, plug it into your internet browser, and you'll come up with your router settings. Now, every router is different. The best way to know what to do with your router is to go to portforward.com and it'll give you a step-by-step -step process of what to do for every router. Alright, now here comes actually downloading the server. Um, in order to do this, you'll want to go to tworlds.com, official site. I'm just making some tabs. The latest version is 0.6.3. Uh, go ahead and download that. This is a Windows tutorial, so I'm going to be doing the Windows 32 bit. Alright, now that that's download, you're just going to have to extract it really quick. I'm just renaming it as some random thing. I already have a server in there all set up. But So this is done, which is awesome. Go ahead and close that out. I'm just going to rename this to an example server just so you guys can see the whole walkthrough. Alright, go ahead and open that. And now you basically almost have all the files you need. You, there's already a server setting in there. But as you can see, there's an error and no server actually is up. Um, this is because there's not a configure file. Um, it's looking for something called autoexec.cfg. So we're going to make that. Just open up a new text document and just save it as the cfg file. Make sure under the bottom where it says save as, you save it as all files. This way it won't save as a text document. Um, it should have a slightly different icon than a text document and that's how you know it's good so now you need uh, server settings in order to do this you can actually go to tworlds.com and click that server setup link and you'll have all the settings you will ever need right there and it gives you a really nice description on how to utilize them but I have settings on my existing server so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy those over I'll throw them in the link below or the description below so you guys can just copy them and rename a couple things on what you want most of it's just setting up passwords and the name of the server and a couple other properties which you can leave the same but so now when you click on this server um, it will find the auto exec and it will run and as you can see it says that the server is running and the round actually started, but we're not going to be playing. Alright, so you can actually start the server a couple of different ways. You can also use something called a batch file to, or it's a dot .bat file to open up another location. If you want to do this, you can take this little bit of code off the T-World's website and then generate a bat file in your tworld server folder go ahead click there alright so now I'm just gonna create a new text document save it as dot bat you can really use anything I'm probably just gonna use server startup just to make it easier for me to remember you just wanna copy and paste this code and you have to remember to copy the last portion cause that's what's gonna execute when this is running so that server config, that CFG, I'm just going to copy that over because I'm going to make another text document similar to the auto EXC one. And that's just going to hold the server properties. Note, if you did the auto EXC, you do not have to do any of this. It's just an alternate way to start up the server because a lot of people like to rename it different things. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that as whatever I put in that uh, server setup 
folder. Save that quick. And now I'm just going to copy these over. It's the same exact thing. Just paste them in. Save that. Exit out. And to show you this, I'm actually just going to delete the auto exec. And now I'm going to start that up. Oop. And as you can see, the server is running properly. No firewall problems. Note that if you did not configure your port 8303 correctly, you will get firewall problems. Alright, so right here, uh, these are just ways to find the server. Um, as you can see, I just went into my server. Of course, there's no one playing. But you can also go to LAN at the top, and you will be able to access your server right there. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.